So inevitably, if you've been in the business world long enough, you've come across somebody who has given you the key to financial freedom and financial success, but you never realized. The phrase, don't be out hustled by a crackhead, has a ton of implications. And I'm gonna show you how you can create financial freedom by following the very simple principles laid out by every crackhead on the planet. Now, the numbers might not be exactly right, because unfortunately I don't know how much crack goes for. Based on what Google told me, it goes anywhere from $18 to $100. So I started with the lowest number you can imagine, and then I worked my way halfway up to about 60. 60 is a good round number. We could have used 50, but I like 60 better just because it fits and it flows better. So one of the things you'll think about when you think about a crackhead, they are relentless, they are driven, they are highly motivated to search out and find what they need, which is crack. But you're not addicted to crack. You're not a druggie. So on the plus side, since you're not addicted to crack and you don't have any dependency issues, we can use those principles to create a state of financial freedom that allows you to work three hours a day. Maybe you wanna work a little bit more. You make a little bit more. You set your own schedule. You create your own hours. It's the financial independence that you have always wanted. So what separates a crackhead from somebody who works a nine to five job? That drive, that motivation that dedication to their craft, whatever it is that they want to achieve. Mostly it's crack, but for you, what is it that you want to achieve? You want the ability to travel. You want the ability to go to the movies with your family and not have to worry about your budgets. In this time, when you have inflation, you want to not have to worry about the cost of eggs. You want that financial freedom. So if you've stayed with me this long, let's walk through how crackhead mentality could help you get to that nice financial freedom that you've always wanted. If we look at the numbers, a crackhead, without spending their money on crack, has the potential to earn in a five-day work week anywhere from $28,000 to $93,000. And that's still only three hours of work per day, by the way. I didn't add extra time. We're not even looking at overtime. We're looking at just base level work. If you wanted to work six days a week, still three hours, we haven't changed that yet, anywhere from $33,000 extra up to $112,000, we haven't even started talking about the fact that this is all tax-free. Think about that. Tax-free money in your pocket by following the crackhead methodology. $39,000. You want to work seven days a week, really only 21 hours a week, and you can make between $39,000 and $131,000 per year. Now again, this is based on a 52 week work schedule. That means that you don't take days off for anything. But let's say you wanted to double up on those weeks that you knew you were gonna take time off. Let's just say you worked 42 hours this week to offset the future week that you're gonna take off. Or you work 42 this week and then because you were gone, you work 42 the next week, then you cut your hours right back. Why not? It's your schedule, you do whatever you want. Remember, this is all about your financial independence. A lot of you out there are going, well, this is impossible. Well, if, if it was this easy, everyone would do it. Well, they don't understand the crackhead principle. And the crackhead principle is do whatever it takes. What you're thinking is, well, I do that. I get up every day and I hustle as hard as I can. I do whatever it takes, you don't. You don't do whatever it takes because you're being out hustled by a crackhead. And before I go any further, I want you to go to the comment section and tell me what you think the crackhead methodology is. Now that you've had a second, I want you to think back to the first time that you ever saw this. I remember when I saw this and it really lit up my life because I walked into my boss's office and she had don't be out hustled by a crackhead behind her desk. And I remember looking her square in the eyes and I understood the message. I took that message deep into my soul because I realized that if I was to be out hustled by a crackhead, it would feel bad because crackheads have more motivation than I do. And I realized something in that moment and I looked right at her and I said, you know what? I should suck dick for money because crackheads will suck dick for crack. And that was when I realized the key to my financial freedom was giving hand jobs. I know it sounds kind of weird, but stay with me. In business, there's this model of top grading, which means when new clients come in, you charge them slightly more than the pre-existing clients. The reason for that is it makes your business mostly inflation-proof. The new clients are absorbing the cost of inflation 
the increased cost of goods without you ever harming your past clients. Now, if you have a good client base, that means you have good repeat business. So you have to know that as you build your business, you may have to work a little bit harder. You may have to do a little bit more. But if our goal is to make it to $93,000 in five days of work, three hours a day, we have to be willing to swallow some things that we don't want to swallow. It means you're gonna have to do a little bit of work for a little bit less money. Now, I know what you're thinking. I'm above that. Are you above that? Are you above 131,000 extra dollars? You could do this on top of your regular nine to five. You don't want to be out of hustle by that crackhead, do you? That crackhead has set the bar exceptionally low and you just have to walk over it. You don't have a crack addiction. You don't have a pimp. You don't have any of those external expenses that a crackhead might have. All you have to do is go out there and jerk some dick and you too could be financially free. Here's the thing. The beauty of what crackheads do behind closed doors is the only person who knows is their drug dealer and them. And if you're doing this, there's not going to be a lot of people running around going, Hey, guess who jacked me off? Because in most states it's illegal. So people want to keep their mouths shut. Now, how do I find between three and six people a day that I could pleasure for money? Well, that part's really easy. Most people like being pleasured and they're doing it for more than the cost of a Whataburger meal as it is. Think about that for a second. 18 bucks, that's a significant amount of food at Whataburger, but you couldn't go out to dinner and buy a dinner for somebody for 18 bucks. So you start low and once you have your regulars, you just start inching up that money just little by little until you get to a point where you're charging $60 per hand job. Think about that for a second. Think about the financial freedom you have. And again, it's tax free. You're not going to Uncle Sam and saying, hey, Uncle Sam, I jerked off 21 guys this week. No, you're not doing that. What you're doing is turning around and going, well, I thank you for this money. I have the ability to go out and do whatever I want to financially free. Would I quit my nine to five? No, I would definitely keep that nine to five. It's gonna help when it comes to getting loans and applying for credit cards. But at some point, you'll get smart. You'll create a second LLC where you can actually fund your business and make it a legitimate business. You hide the money. Sounds pretty straightforward, right? Why aren't more people doing this? They're afraid. They're afraid of what financial freedom looks like, but that's not you. You've watched this video this far because you're not afraid of financial freedom. You're not afraid of what's on the other side of that nine to five. You've accepted that there is a whole great wide world out there. And the plus side of this model is you can take it anywhere you go. You want to move to Colorado? Take it with you. You want to move to New York? Take it with you. You want to move to a completely different country? I'm sure it still applies. I don't know what the laws are in other countries. But what I do know is this. Crackheads should be your guiding light because you can out-hustle a crackhead just by trying because you don't have an addiction. And don't be afraid to lowball the competition. This is where some people get in trouble. They think they have to come out with the highest amount. No, no, no. You have to create a base. Once you've created that base, then you create retention. Once you've got retention, then you have financial freedom. And I know what you're wondering, because you're wondering about that tiny little 4.5 over here. Well, here's the thing. As you're increasing the number of clientele that you have, there's nothing that doesn't stop you from creating an alternate source of revenue. So look at this idea and take it in. We're going to go through a little paradigm shift here where we're going to take $4.5 and we're going to take that money and we're going to increase it to $131,000. 4.5 to 131. How does this happen? Well, you have an attribute that your clients are already paying for. Now, if you were to start an OnlyFans and tell your clients about that, this is where that LLC comes in that I talked about, you would be able to funnel extra money through your LLC, showing that you have a good taxable revenue and providing a service to your clients when they're out of town. Think about that for a second. You have the ability to be multi-state without even trying because for $4.50 a month, less than the cost of a Starbucks coffee, you could find yourself sitting on up to a million dollars a month. Think about that. Your financial freedom is only based on how hard you want to work. So I appreciate you coming to my TED Talk. Thank you for taking the time to listen to me. And also remember, don't be out hustled by a crackhead.